Well, I was driving down McCullough and it got to run through the Joyner neighborhood 20 minutes after the tornado. Um, <clears throat> when you see people weeping um, in a daze, in shock, uh, boy, I mean, it hit me right then and there, um, the pain that somebody goes through when they lose everything. I mean, there were some homes that were gone. It was humbling. Uh, it, you know, I wept. I, I remember I fell on my knees just a couple blocks behind here, and I just, I remember praying to God, um, help these people, open up the doors that maybe Eight Days of Hope could be a part of this uh, rebuilding effort as well. And of course, God answered that prayer. You know, I sit here in the Joiner area, and right behind me, about two blocks, is where Becky Terry lived, and Becky, sweet lady. Uh, Becky had found out about six months before the tornado uh, that she had terminal cancer. Uh, literally, uh, two days before the tornado, she lost a parent. And then the tornado comes and rips apart her house. And, you know, Miss Terry knew she only had months to live. And, you know, when I met with Becky and uh, met with her family, um, we just said, you know, we want to do everything we can to serve you. What can we do? And, and she just said, you know, I'd love to spend my last couple days in my house. When I talked to Becky while the event was going on, she said, Steve, look around. There's 85 people working on my house, and I don't know one of them. Some live in Tupelo. Some came from Michigan. Some are from Louisiana. <clears throat> and I know I don't have long to live. Uh, but she was so grateful that we were going to allow her to spend her last days with dignity in a home that she loved. So, you, you know, you talk about rebuilding 235 homes, helping rebuild parks, we worked on churches. We do what we do because we love God and we love people. Miss Terry saw the love of Jesus through those volunteers.